Hello students, welcome to this vertical integration session between pharmacology and community medicine. With me, we have uh, uh, the greatest community medicine teachers of all time, Dr. Rajesh Ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us uh, with this uh, question. Thank you, sir. That is a huge appreciation. <laughs> I'm Dr. Rajesh, your PSM faculty. And myself, Dr. Nilesh, your pharmacology faculty. Uh, we can directly go into the question which we are going to discuss about right now. So, this is a case of a 35 year old male patient with complaints of cough, persistent fever, night sweats. So, a classical trio we have cough, persistent fever, night sweats. Of course, some of you would have come into that diagnosis right now itself. But here we have one more comorbidity of that patient, and he is also a known case of MDD, that is major depressive disorder. And he is also under treatment. Uh, and was diagnosed as MDR-TB, multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, that's what it means. MDR-TB, of course, you know what's an MDR-TB is, if a patient is been resistant to H and R, he will be diagnosed as isonia acid and rifampicin resistant or multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. We have a Neumann nomenclature because the treatment regimen for MDR and also for rifampicin resistant tuberculosis also yes. is actually uh, same, uh, we'll be uh, discussing that in few minutes. So, which of the following anti- which of the following anti-TB drugs is contraindicated in this patient? Before we go into the options, we need to know what exactly is been given for this patient basically. That's why we have uh, Dr. Rajis here. Ma'am, can you please enlighten us with uh, what are the different drugs which we have, especially in the uh, treatment regimen for tuberculosis? Yes. Okay. So, students, uh, let's talk about the treatment <coughs> of TB. As you all know, TB treatment can be divided into drug sensitive TB regimen and drug resistant TB regimen. Okay, so drug sensitive means a person who is who is sensitive to all the first line treatment. And for drug sensitive TB, what we give is first line treatment. Okay, it's not as first line regimen or first line treatment. And in first line, I'm very sure that you already know that it is given in two phases, intensive phase and continuation phase. And in intensive phase, we are giving Four drugs which are INH, rifampicin, pyrazinamide and ethambutol for two months as a daily regimen. Right sir? And for continuation, it is for four months and what we give is HRE. That means no Z in the continuation phase or you can even remember it as HER. You are giving HER in the continuation phase. So this is what we give in first line treatment. Okay. And the two most important drugs in first line treatment are INH and rifampicin. Okay. And if the patient develops resistance to INH or rifampicin or to both, the regimen changes. So then we have the drug resistant regimen. Okay. So before that, guys, I have a picture. What you see here is the drug box of, can you guess? H is there, R is there, Z is there, E is there. So this is the intensive phase given for first line therapy. And it is red in color. That means we have a another color which is green given for HRE. That is for continuation phase. Okay. Now moving on to the drug resistant TB. As and, I told you. And that actually are single drugs, no ma'am? Yes, 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 right? yes, yes. These are given as <coughs> fixed drug combination. Because, uh, uh, you know, earlier we were, we were getting multi blister packets in which H will be separate, yeah. R will be kept separate, E will be kept separate. Now, all these are combined into one single drug. Yes. Okay, so you have only one tablet, okay, which has all these drugs combined into one single tablet. Okay, now coming to drug resistant TB. As I told you, H and R are the most important drug. Now, if the patient is resistant to H, that means INH resistant, then the regimen that you give us. See, whenever you hear about this drug resistant TB, uh, like sir mentioned, the first thing that comes to your mind would be MDR. But we also have other drug resistance other than MDR. So I think I'll touch upon that as well, sure. sir. After that, I'll come to your MDR. Okay. So if the patient is resistant to H alone, then you give H mono or poly drug resistant TB regimen. So this is given for a person who is resistant to H alone but he is sensitive to R. So what do you give us? By the way, which are the drugs that you give in first line treatment? H, R, E, Z, E. Right? That means this patient is sensitive to R, E, Z and E but he will not respond to H. So what you do is 
take out that H because that is not going to work for this patient. And you replace that with levofloxacin. You replace that with levofloxacin. That is nothing but your H mono or poly DRTB regimen, which is given for six months. That means continuously is given for six months. There is no intensity phase. There is no continuation phase. Am I right, sir? Yes. Okay. So this is what you give for a person who is resistant to INS but sensitive to rifampicin. Then comes your MDR drug treatment. Okay. So as sir said, MDR means a person who is multi, right? Multi means a person who is resistant to both INH and rifampicin. Okay, without without resistant to other first line anti TB drugs. Now, MDR tre treatment or MDR regimen are of two types. One is, as you can see in this picture, you have a shorter one and you have a longer one. Okay, now what is shorter MDR TB? Shorter MDR TB is given for around nine to eleven months. But the thing is, all MDR patients cannot be given shorter MDR. Everybody wants to come under MDR uh, shorter only, but the thing is, it won't work for everyone. So, only for certain groups, you can give shorter. All others should go to longer. Now, let's see who all will come under shorter. That means 9 to 11 months of MDR treatment. Mainly for patients who are rifampicin resistant TB. Sarah has already mentioned what is rifampicin resistant. That means a person who is resistant only to rifampicin. Whereas he will respond to or he is sensitive to all the other rest of the drugs. Okay. And the second group who can be started on shorter MDRS, a person who is rifampicin resistant plus INH, but he is resistant either to CAT G or INH A. INH. Can you read this as H? This is INH A genetic mutation. So, what I want to tell you is see, INH resistant could be because of mutation in CAT G or mutation in INH A. So, a person who is resistant to INH either with CAT G or this is G, okay, CAT G or INH A can also be started on shorter MDR. So, if a person is found to be resistant to INH with both CAT G and INH A, my point is he cannot be started on shorter. He will have to move on to longer, which will take a long time. Okay. So, these are the two group of people who could be started on shorter MDR TB regimen. Okay. Now, let's see how to give shorter MDR TB regimen. This is given as intensity phase and continuation phase. Now, let's see how to give it. Intensity phase is given for four to six months. See, the drugs given for shorter MDR are very important. There are seven drugs which are given under intensity phase. So, I have a small mnemonic. So, I have seen your videos in which you have uh, you have a lot of mnemonic. Usually, you know, pharma is, uh, is a nightmare. When I was a student, it's a nightmare. And I think it's the same with you guys as well. Because, you know, a lot of drugs, you have to read a lot. You know, you have to remember a lot. But I have watched Sir's video. He always relate everything to, you know, all those, you, you know, confu uh, all those, you know, drugs which are of a lot of confusion to movies and with uh, a lot of mnemonics. So, you are a master of mnemonics, sir. <laughs> ma'am, it's actually a nightmare not only for you guys, also for me. Also for every <laughs> pharmacologist known to the world. The pharmacologist is always a nightmare. Oh, but the issue is we have small keys which can be activated with mnemonics like what ma'am is going to be giving. Okay. Yeah. So, I have a small <clears throat> mnemonic, sir. Yes. <laughs> Nothing compared to what sir has. So, 